Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to load only unique values from the documents. So, see right here, this is the document, and here, this is the field department ID or name, and here, manager ID. So, this is right here, or uh, inside uh, or department ID, you can find 10. So, it's trash stamps, and here, 20. So, 20, it's uh, 1. Here, you can find, uh, okay, or uh, 90 trash stamps. So I will load only unique values from the department ID and next department name. So uh, for this add here, let's use uh, db or uh, chart uh, and here. Uh, so add here, I'm using the collection a student and here press dot and here you can find uh, here. So if you execute to uh, this query, so see add here this the or uh, contents inside a student. So I will load only unique or uh, from department ID. So for this, let's write add here db and here dot and here a student going to use and here dot and here you can find to uh, distinct. So add here distinct. So what the distinct find the distinct values from the specified fill across the single collection and return the result in an array okay so uh, it to return the specified or uh, field across the single collection and return the result in an array so this is the things now hereafter press enter and uh, the next is so we need to if i directly execute to without giving any values so let's see what happens so it's not considering anything so we need to uh, specify add here so we need to specify or uh, any or uh, column name so add here or uh, let's write uh, at this point going to use department underscore id so department id now here after or uh, close by semicolon and you have, you can have to you have to select execute a statement cursor or select execute selection so if i uh, execute so see add here or 10 so 10 it's uh, only one at a time it's a uh, displaying 10 so no any duplicate no any duplicate of 10 like this so you cannot find 90 or twice times so by using or distance we can only display unique values now let's execute that and the same things uh, you can apply with our uh, department name so see add here or uh, sales it's twice and here marketing maybe duplicate so suppose if i give add here a uh, one term here i'm going to write to department or uh, default Mint underscore name department name now if i execute to this selected so see add here oh, i'm getting the error masses so that means we cannot pass two parameter so add here the query argument distinct command must be or oh, document but was a string so it must be document but was it was a string so either you can uh, select your department ID or department name. So I'm selected at your department name. Now if you execute to this query, so see at your uh, only unique department name, it's a uh, displaying. So add here administrator, marketing, purchase, human resource, shipping, or uh, sales. It's all unique or uh, displaying unique values displaying at here. So this is the way we can filter out to or, or distinct or unique value from the or document now here after the next thing you can apply the other or other criteria also so let's use db here after dot here i'm going to use a student again and here after if you press dot here you can find aggregate aggregate function now the next is oh add here bracket now the next uh, add here or uh, going to use at this point uh, or curly brasses open and close curly brasses 
Now and you are going to write and dollar and match dollar match and your colon and at this point open and close bracket here so open and close bracket now going to write at this point department department underscore id department id now here i'm going to give a uh, name okay department name and uh, here let's give hr so here you can find hr so inside uh, double quote going to write hr now here after two curly braces give the comma now the next is add here open and close bracket and here writing dollar and here group group and here after colon and here oh, one new bracket and here going to write minus id minus id here colon and this time going to use uh, department id so let's use double quote and here department underscore id department underscore id and here after let's give colon comma and here after total so total should be in a small so total and here colon bracket open and close bracket and uh, here total and writing at this point so so dialog that it can and here dollar again now it will execute to this query also see add here this the id so id 17 and here total it's displaying 1100 so uh, let's check there so first we need to find add here so first matching so this is the condition department name hr so add here this is so uh, oh so there is uh, only one hr there so hr and here department id so returning 17 and here this is the total so total it's a displaying 1100 now let's give uh, or uh, duplicate values of the uh, department name so add here this is the next is sales and if i execute to this query so see add here of uh, 120 100 10 1200 16 1300 so add here you can find to or sales on a uh, 120 department id 10 and 60 so let's check that so add here sales so sales add here 16 10 and 120 16 10 and 120 okay 16 10 and 120 So see here 16, 10, 120 has this kind of values. So this is the way we can uh, filter out according to department name. We can filter out only cells, columns or values. So if that match then hereafter that will do the uh, grouping on ID or department ID and hereafter that do the sum. So add here department ID 120 in one group 10 in one group 16 one group so let's uh, check where there or uh, there is uh, 20 so there is 20 and marketing so there is uh, no any 20 okay i'm going to include one thing 110 okay 10 and sales one more times so let's uh, right click and here uh, or going to or use add here add fields add fields so or oh, add here okay let's uh, do some modification add here i'm going to give uh, 
this has pain and here this is going to give stress now making duplicate so at your 10 cells and 10 cells it's a now duplicate now if i execute let's see what happened so at your 10 10 or twice 10 and here the value is 1200 and 1200 execute that so see at your 10 that make in one group and here the value is 2400 it's a display so this is the way we can uh, find out or make the department in one group and uh, we can return distinct values so if you uh, select at here or uh, this query so see at here 10 so 10 10 so this is the at your first that check says so says okay group id so group id is the 10 so it's a trans terms here so that to make in one group or 10 okay okay first that condition match match then after that make 10 in one group so one group after that that to the summation so like uh, 1200 200 it's a 24 double zero it's a it's blank so this is the way we can or do or we can return on the distance value by using aggregate function so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you